Uh, I'm in a house that we're renovating and a lot of these houses, 50, some of them 100 years old, the railings are a little wobbly in the midsection. And, you know, we have a newel post at the top and the bottom, but the middle is very flexed. I don't know if you can see it, it's flexing a lot. And what that does is that breaks and loosens the newel posts and over time it screws up the railing system. So what a lot of folks try to do is they try to put a, a handrail bracket on, but the distance between the, the joist the floor choice and the railing is too far. So what I do is I make a standoff block. And I just uh, rip something down bigger than the bracket itself, bigger than this, um, on my table saw in the shop and I route a nice little detail on it. And then I bring it, sand it down, bring it here, mount it to the wall like I did right here. And then I'm gonna mount this bracket to it. And then this is gonna become rock solid. And it's also gonna be safer for the occupants, you know, if they, if they need to really rely on the railing and they lose their balance or something like that. It's a great technique, it's a great tip for guys that are renovating. It's a nice little thing to do for your clients. We just do it. We don't even tell them we're doing it. Um, well, we get permission, but we, we don't charge them for it. It's a safety thing and it should be done. So now, as you can see, the bracket's installed to the standoff block to this rim joist, and it is rock solid. And it's gonna su be supported between the top post and here, the mid, mid span, and this mid span, and down to the newel post down below. And it's gonna take less stress off the system, and it's gonna be a lot safer for the occupants.